All right, welcome back. Part number three now, um, you are going to look at what materials it is that you as the teaching, as the test administrator, need to print off. Now you can print these off a day before the test, you can print them off the morning of the test. I would recommend that you do it at least the day before the test. Now these are secure test documents, so these need to make sure that they are locked up and they are in a secure location um, so that um, you know they can't get lost or stolen. All right, so here we are. We're in the students in sessions window, just like we ended the last video. And now you've got your start button, your download resources, so on and so forth. Okay, this button here, which says download resources, is where you're going to be able to get your printed information from. So download resources, and you'll notice that you have seal codes, and then you've also got student test tickets. These are the two things that you're going to need. So first of all, click on seal codes. And when you click on seal codes, you notice that we're doing a math course here. So the math sections have two parts to them. So this is order number one, seal code number one, seal code number two. So this will be for day number one, and this will be for day number two. The students will actually have to enter this number into their iPad um, or whatever their testing device is after they've logged in. So you as the teacher will need to write this seal code on the board uh, so that way the kids know what they're looking at and uh, can, can able to get into the actual appropriate test. Okay, So we'll close that out. We'll come back over to um, the download resources folder. And now the student test tickets. This is going to have the kids usernames and passwords on it. You can print them in four different ways. You can print them in a grid view which will look like this and then you as the teacher will have to cut them out and give them the appropriate one. You can print them out in list view which would be good for the teacher to have a copy of uh, so that way they know and can, can assist the, the students. And you've also got four of these per page so once again you'll have to cut or you can do these as one per page. Okay, and this will just print one out per page. You won't have to worry about cutting or anything. Things to check on here. Make sure you're getting these to the right student. Uh, make sure the session name is correct. Make sure you're in the right subject. Um, and then also down here at the bottom, this is the kid's username. And this is the password that the kids will need to enter in. Uh, so this will be entered in for the username. This will be entered in for the password. You as the test administrator can help students um, log into the test. If they're having problems uh, logging in or you know the numbers they can't get them in, especially our younger students, you may help them uh, to log in to, to their test. Okay. So those are the two things that you need to print out um, and have. These are considered secure test documents. Uh, Pickering Local Schools were allowing you to the teachers to keep these in between the test periods, but once you get done with the three days of ELA or the three days of math, you then need to turn those back into your building test coordinator um, because once again they're secure test documents. All right, so you can print off seal codes, you can print off test tickets um, a couple days in advance, the day, the day of, or the morning of. I would recommend at least the night before. Okay.